I'm making another uh, javelin video here. We got the uh, fender off. We're hammering out some dents. Here's the lower hinge. There's a little slop in there. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but probably enough to set the door off. The upper hinge is pretty tight, but it uh, has some broken pieces. These hinges are bolted to the car from the inside. The bottom one isn't a problem. You just take the kick panel out. You can see this or not, but you can get right at it. But uh, for the top one, the dash is pretty much blocking it. So I'm probably going to take the dash out uh, so I can get it at that hinge and get this door adjusted uh, as good as possible. Here I got the uh, instrument cluster out of the dash and at an angle you can actually see the bolts back there behind that stuff. I could probably get it with a swivel and an extension but uh, found some cracks in the dash I want to get them all glued up so I'm probably just going to go ahead and take this uh, dash out anyway. Got the dashboard out of the javelin. was able to do it in one piece. Now I can get at those uh, hinge bolts real easy. I uncovered a variety of problems that existed underneath this dash. The biggest one that bugged me was uh, the controls for my heater broke off the back of this um, faceplate. So I'll have to reattach those somehow. Here's a look at the dash. It's not in too bad a shape, but uh, my biggest concern is there's a crack for it here down. And there's also a crack there. And there's another crack about halfway up there. So I'm going to go ahead and get those all glued up to try to uh, sturdy this dash up. Here I got her clamped back in position, gluing her. I'm using this uh, Loctite super glue. Here's a look at the fender after it's been straightened. Uh, I wire wheeled the inside and did uh, a once over with some rust reformer and some paint. Just trying to preserve it again until it gets a full restoration. This fender trough was wire wheeled, treated with uh, rust reformer, and then painted along with all the surface rust on this plate and there's a little bit under here. Just trying to do a quick once over preservation until the car gets a full on restoration. Here's a look at the hinge loosened up from the inside. You can see there's a, a ton of adjustment in it, so hopefully we can get this uh, door squared away. Here's a look at the door jam with the, uh, the oval out holes for the hinges. Here's some play in the hinge, it wasn't that bad, but uh, I went ahead and got a pin and bushing kit. I'm going to go ahead and rebush the uh, driver's side hinges. The hinge is chucked up on the vise, I'm just going to try to drive the uh, pin out. And now to get the bushings out. Luckily, uh, the pin didn't wear through the bushing to the metal. Getting a little close there. Try and tap it in with a wood block and a hammer. Here I'm going to send a new pin home, the end of it's knurled to uh, grab on. Another eighth and one more sixteenth. There it's in. Here it is with the new bushings. There's still a little bit of play in it, but uh, that's what they gave me and we're going to run it. So here's the hinge I'm going to use. There's less slop in here. And this piece was broken off of it. The spring rides in between there and the hinge to give it uh, tensions on each notch. So I'm going to attempt to drive this piece out here and uh, send it into my new hinge. Here's what the uh, hinge looks like with the spring in place. Here's the uh, javelin door bolted back on. Got that working like a champ. Here's the driver's side fender. I went ahead and put that javelin emblem on it. And uh, here's a dent dollied out somewhat straight. This fender's looking kind of rough, but uh, Still rust free. 
You got the fender extension bolted on it with some seam sealer. I'm letting it dry. The door and the fender are back on the Javelin. Here's a look at her from the side. This car actually did go to the frame shop and I uh, got a clean bill of health from them. I am going to fess up that after working on this car, especially blocking out that hood, I realized that this is a repaint. In fact, it's repainted twice. But uh, no surprise there, and it doesn't really matter because it needs another paint job anyway. Another indicator of that is this car was supposed to have uh, emblems on the rear quarter, and they weren't there. It's kind of scratching my head. And then when I got in there and took a good look at it, I saw this. So the holes are still there. I know exactly where to put it. I'll just re-drill them. I'm a rebadger. Some guys actually debadge cars, but uh, I like to have all the emblems on it. I'm guessing this emblem wasn't available at the time of the repaint. That's probably why they just uh, filled in the holes, went over it. Probably couldn't find them. Now I'm working on uh, putting the headlight back in. Here's the headlight bucket. Uh, one of the adjusters is broke. This is what it's supposed to look like. That one's in the fritz, but it's still holding. Got a new one here that's riveted in. See how good the uh, Chinese rivet gun works today. Pretty good it looks like. And there's the headlight installed. Here's the uh, controls for the heater on the car and all the cable operated mechanisms broke off the back. They're held on right here by these pins that uh, are just peened over. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to file them flat and I'm going to try to drill and tap it and put a 6 30 second screw in there. and. Uh, then I'll actually have a two-piece heater control versus a one-piece. It makes it a lot easier to get the dash out. Just using a regular regular plain old starter tap. I had to run it in the other ones about four times. The flutes were getting full of uh, aluminum or whatever type of metal this is. Here's the weather I uh, installed in the dash. I'll show you guys what I'm working on now. Tough to see, but I'm pointing at it with the screwdriver here. Just installed a couple rubber grommets. Um, these cables are sitting on sheet metal. And once I get the dash in place, I'll probably silicone those up. This whole cabin was getting uh, filled with uh, smoke from the blow-by from the engine. Got a couple other holes on the other side of the column, and I'm going to use conduit plugs to try to seal them up. Here's a look at that. Not the prettiest thing, but it'll keep the carbon monoxide out. Ended up using the screw type conduit plugs. Here's the original foam that was on this ductwork. I just went to Menards and got some self adhesive uh, foam, and I'll redo that to try to get a good seal there for the defroster. Here's a look at the foam installed. I was wondering why the instrument cluster lights didn't work, and uh, you turn this for the brilliance on them. It also controls uh, these lights, and it turns out uh, this headlight switch is bad. Took some voltage reads on it, and the wire that powers all that isn't getting any juice. I was able to find a brand new one in Rock Auto. We'll see if I can uh, get her installed here. Here's the old headlight switch. Looks like you just push this uh, spring-loaded button in, and the shaft comes right out of it. Here's the new headlight switch installed, and uh, if I ground this, see it works now. 
so I suspect the dash lights are going to work now. That's about it for this update on the Javelin. Thanks for watching.